Hello, beautiful Montessori children. This is Miss Gara, primary math, measurement, non-standard unit of measurement. So for this lesson, you will need a few things. You will need colored pencils or crayons or markers, a pencil. Miss Gara is going to use a pen so you can see it on the sheet. Your measure the room paper and a non-standard unit of measurement. So let me explain that. A non-standard unit of measurement is something that you use to measure, but it's not inches or centimeters or meters. It's something you have just around the house. For example, Miss Gara is gonna use Dixie cups. I had these lying around the house and I decided that I was gonna use them to measure. Other things that you might have in your bedroom to measure is Legos, Kinects, um, cute little DOL dolls that are the same size, colored pencils, um, little erasers, um, paper clips, um, anything that's small, toothpicks, anything that's kind of small that you can use to measure. So the first thing I'm gonna do on my paper is make sure that my name's at the top. Next, it says unit of measurement and then it has a line. So my unit of measurement is my Dixie cups. Your unit of measure might be Legos or toothpicks or paper clips. So you need to write your unit of measurement in that blank spot. I'm gonna draw a picture of my cup and I'm gonna write the word in cursive. Boys, I wanna give you a reminder that I'm recording. Okay, so I drew my cup. Dixie cup. Dixie cup. So, Miss Gara filled in the first two spaces for you. The first one is a rug. So any kind of rug that you may have around the classroom, or not around the classroom, around your house. And then the second one is a plate. So you're going to go gather a plate, and then you can move your non-standard unit of measurement to the rug if it's too big. Now, Miss Gara has a work rug set out here, so we're going to use this to measure. I'm gonna make sure I have all of my space here. So I'm gonna move the plate back, I'm gonna measure. And I'm gonna lay the Dixie cups on their side to measure. And I'm gonna come around and I'm gonna put the screen down just a little bit more so you can see. There, okay. So I'm gonna start on this side and I'm gonna put my Dixie cup at the very edge of my work rug. And I'm gonna go all the way down. Oh, rolling cup. I'm gonna come past the screen. I'm gonna finish. Okay, so now I'm going to count. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen Dixie cups to measure my rug. So on this side, I'm going to put.
14 down for my Dixie Cups. And then you can color the rug if you like. So now I'm gonna clean up my Dixie Cups. And put them aside, because I don't wanna get them dirty because they were clean. Now I'm gonna measure my plate. Hmm, do I want to measure the width or the height? Hmm, the rug I measured the width, so I should probably measure the width of the plate too. Okay. Are you ready? Okay, don't be frightened if you start hearing some wind and thunder and and see some lightning in the background. It's starting to storm um, right now. And I just wanted to let you guys know that you might hear that in the background, but you are safe. Okay. All right. Hmm. This is tricky. You know how mascara likes tricky. Hmm. So as you notice, about half of this is hanging out. So if you have had a lesson in class about halves and you wanna write halves, you can. But we can also estimate. So we can estimate that this is about one, two, three, four Dixie cups long. So I'm gonna write the number four because I estimated. If I was being exact, I would write 4.5, or sorry, 3.5, not 4.5, 3.5. But I'm gonna write four because I estimated. Four, and then I can color in my plate if I want to. Now we're gonna do one more where I pick something from the room. So I'm going to set this aside. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to choose. Ooh, I'm going to choose a book, a book to measure. So I'm going to lay it in my work area. Get my Dixie cups and measure. is almost exactly four Dixie cups long or wide depending on how you're measuring it. Hmm, four. So I'm gonna draw my book on the left side and do a rectangle and I'm gonna put the title on it. And then I'm gonna put the number four. The number four. So after you get done doing the rest of the spaces, you can use your colored pencils to fill it in. I cannot wait to hear about what kind of non-standard unit of measurement you used in today's activity. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys next time.